So what makes a profitable trader? Well, we'll talk exactly about that today. What's up guys, welcome back to Merida in Mexico, been here for a couple of days as you probably know already But today I'm gonna talk about something that I got a lot of questions about and people wonder a lot How they can become profitable traders, what they have to do now, what people that did it before them did exactly And I've had the chance to speak with a lot of traders in the past, either on my podcast or in conversation meeting them in person I want to share with you what I've heard and what I've seen for myself makes the biggest difference in traders, what makes them really profitable, what is it that they would do that they work on, and how do they think overall. That's gonna be for today's video. So first of all, we need to define exactly what we mean by a profitable trader. That's gonna vary for different people. Some people expect that profitable means they make a living from trading. I don't necessarily agree with that, because of the fact that I see for myself that you never know that you're profitable until later, until you go back and you look back at your data, and you say, oh, I've been profitable and you didn't know before. Right? It's not the clear shift that you make that makes it profitable. It is about these small adjustments you make over time that get you to some result and that get you to be in a point where you can look back and say I've been profitable for X month. And keep in mind also that you might have a bad month in those uh, past few months, but you always look at the overall picture of things and you cannot just take a small narrow down view of the week or the month and base your success and most importantly confidence on that. You should first of all never base your confidence on your results because that's gonna create a wave of ups and downs and times when you feel good, times when you feel bad and not really any consistency in your result which is not what you wanna have. So even for me now, these days, it's a big challenge to try to distance myself from the outcome, the result, the profit, the losses in trading and even outside of that. So I kind of have to force myself when I feel down to kind of say, well, this is only a result and what matters most is not the result but more the action you've put in to get to the result. If you've been lazy all week, then sure, feel bad, because that's how you should feel, that's normal. And that feeling might push you to work harder. For me, when I feel bad, I want to work harder and get back on track. But if you feel bad because your week was not a big profit in trading, you might want to change your perspective on things. Feel based on what you do, not the result, the outcome. And that's a big change I had to make, and I'm still working on that for sure myself, and hopefully that's useful for you. Now, the other thing we need to talk about, I want to bring you guys back to a time where I was for the first time meeting traders in person. That was back then a big thing for me and very impactful. But now I realize that back then I didn't have the mindset at all required to trade. And I didn't understand the principle of the market, how the market behaved, what things were happening, what I should look for and what I should expect from the market. I sort of had to be placed back into reality and what I had to look for and what I had to focus on. And that started with when I was telling a trader at the first meetup I went to about my bad past week and the fact that I was losing most of my trade the past week. And I was devastated. For me, that was horrible. But the guy didn't seem to matter that much. Not because it wasn't my situation, but because he didn't have to care and no trader should care about that. At the end of me complaining and stuff and saying I had a couple of bad trades and that I wasn't profitable that past week, the guy said, that's fine, but did you do the right thing? And at first I was puzzled. Did I do something wrong or what? I lost money. And he said, well, if you did the right thing, you should be proud of yourself and you should just keep going. It shouldn't matter what the outcome is like as long as you do yourself the right thing. And that's something I didn't grasp at the time, but I understand it now. And I'm glad I learned that three years ago. Otherwise, I would not be at the same level today. So you have to learn these things over time. You might not realize it the first time, but over time, you get to experience these things and they make you realize things that completely shift your trading. So that was a really big thing for me. And then later, there was something else I had to learn. And that took some time also. I used to always wonder, whenever I had a losing trade, why is it that it's a losing trade? What's happening? What didn't I catch this time? What's different this time in the market? And I would spend hours trying to read about indicators or strategies to confirm or go against the trade that I took. And turns out, after a couple of hours of research, I did not have much answers. And then I learned through one of my mentors to not so much care about the why and why certain things happen in the market, but to be focused on the how. And that means how you can become better, how you can optimize things for yourself, but not how you can avoid all these losing trades you take, because that's impossible. That's the game you can play, but you will always, always lose, 
no matter what you try to search and find and come up with. It will always be a bad game. And I learned to switch from trying to find out the why and why things happen, to instead the probability game. And I might win, I might lose, it's a probability thing, and in the end, the result doesn't matter. I'm just sitting there doing the thing, executing all the time, and I switch. This is very important, take note of this if you want. I switch from trying to understand the market and trying to pick the right trades, to instead being a project manager who just executes the trade and does what it's supposed to do based on a plan, what is seen works best. And I became more addicted to the data and the probabilities and numbers than the why. I would always lose the why and try to find why something happened. And you might be the same. You might be the guy who's trying to understand what's happening when you lose a trade and you might not find the answer. Most of the time you won't ever find it. Or you might find the answer sometime, but then you come up next time and not take a trade that's going to work out. And then you wonder what happened. Why didn't you catch there? What was the piece missing? And you try to search that piece and then you try to build a puzzle when there's no piece to be found. Nowhere. And I want as much as possible for you guys to avoid this because it's a losing game in the end. And you better focus on what you can control and what you can work on, what you can optimize and get the result from there. And that I believe is what makes a profitable trader. Now we must be extremely careful in trading to not skip the little things. And those are very crucial. You know the, the small things you think won't make any difference? Like skipping journaling for a week or skipping the review for a day or not showing up to the call you have with your coach. Those are things that appear small. But the thing happening when you skip them is that they lead to a bigger fall, a bigger result that you don't want to have. And a lot of people think that these small things are just small things that they can avoid, that they cannot do a week and then get back on track after. But they soon realize that they're in a complete hole and that they have to get back on track and do all these things again. As soon as you slip off or something, it's your job to get back on track. And the thing about being a trader is that no one is going to push you to go back, but you have to push yourself to go back. You have to find this motivation, this goal you have to achieve. Bring this back in your mind. Find a way to bring it back, whether it's going to be through music, through something you write down, through a picture, through a reminder, an object, and bring it back so that you can push yourself again to get back on track. And for me, I had to do this many, many, many times, but I always found this way to get me back on track. And that was crucial. For most people, it is. Because what is the thing that makes the difference of a trader blowing up an account and leaving, quitting forever, and a trader blowing up an account but coming back in a stronger manner, in a more intelligent way? It's only that goal, that vision you have, and that desire to continue moving. Otherwise, you'll always quit, and I don't want you guys to quit. So you better work on that, figure out your vision, and coming back on track, and becoming really good at doing the little things that most people just avoid and think are not impactful. So that's pretty big. Last thing to wrap this up because it's already pretty much the end of the video, but really important is no matter what guys, do your best. A lot of people are wanting to have great result, but not willing to do their best and to show up every day as they could be. They show up half the time when they feel like it or sometimes that things align that they have some time for it. But the best people I've seen, they always put in their best. They always do what they need to do also. There's a difference between doing your best and doing what you are required to do and doing what you must do to succeed. And I believe you need to do all these two things on a certain level. So doing your best is every single day. Doing what's required to do, this really, nothing is required of you. You could do whatever you want. But if you want to become a trader, there are things that you must do in order to become a profitable trader. And those are things that people can tell you that you've heard before that you must do to succeed but that you might push back and not do for some time because you're not in the right mindset, because you're not aligned with those. And also things you have to question yourself. Why not doing them? Why would you skip the journaling? Why would you skip this part? And is that a valid reason? If not, you might as well go back on it, work harder and make it happen. And ultimately these things I talk about today are what I strongly believe based on my experience, what I've seen myself as well, makes a profitable trader. Hope that makes sense guys, comment below what you thought on this. If there's anything you think I missed out, comment below it as well, I do want to know. Subscribe if it's not done yet, one more video like this every single day. And by the way, I'm going to start to feature some comment on every video now, your comment, because you're part of the family. So if you comment on any video, you might be featured in the next one, so make sure you stay tuned. And yeah, I want to thank you guys for being part of this. So here are a few comments that came from the last video. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Comment below this video to be featured in the next one, and I'll catch you guys there. Ciao.